Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the defined name options which is given in Excel in the formulas tab. And it is also called the named range. Now this video is divided into six parts. To start with, we'll start with an introduction. What is a named range? Now in our daily lives, each and every one of us is having a unique identity, a unique name. Like my name is Aprajita and that's my identity. Similarly, each and everyone is having their defined names, which is a sort of their identity. Similarly, in our data set, we can give a specific name to the data to a specific column as per the nature of the data. If my data has a column with a price, I can rename it as like the price column. If I have given the name of the students in a data, I can rename it as student's name so that I can easily recall and remember while working with a complex data or a big data set. Now there are three methods to create a named range. To start with, here we have a small data wherein I have given a few company names, the BSC code and a few details. Now in this first column, let's say I want to rename it as company's name so i'll just select i'll not select the header i'll select a2 to a15 and i'll just simply go to the name box and i'll give it a name as company name i'll press enter now see this cell range is changed into company name this is the most easy way to rename a data now the second option is using the defined name. I will again select my column. I will go to the defined name option formulas. I will go to formulas and then I will go to define name and I click on the defined name. Here I can give a name. I will rename it as company code. The scope I can select it in the workbook in this these are the other worksheets which are given in this workbook so i'll define it in the workbook also only which is correct refers to is the range where my data exists like here it is b2 to b15 so this is okay with me i'll just press okay now this is called as the company's code i have given name to these two columns similarly i have nine columns here in my data set now the, you must be thinking like I need to do this exercise nine times to name my each and every column but that's not the way of doing it. I'll tell you a shortcut that now, in, now I'm selecting the headers as well. I'll go to the formulas. I'll click on create from selection. Since my headers are in the top row, I'll deselect the left column and I'll press OK. Now all my these columns have got their names on just a single click by using the create from selection. Now what if I need to edit, create or delete some named ranges. I just click on anywhere on this table and I will go to named range. Now here are my 9 named ranges which we have just created. I can select any and I can edit it. I can change its name i can change its location i can also delete it by just pressing the delete button so this is how we can edit delete and i, I can even create a new using this name manager i'll close this menu this is how we can create and edit the named ranges which we have already created now the fourth point is rules of creating a named range until now we have created named ranges now there are certain rules which you need to remember before creating a named range first of all is no spaces in header row now each and every header row should not have a space between them else while creating a named range the excel will automatically convert the space into an underscore like here we have a few columns nsc code PSC code current space price now let us see what it was renamed 
सी मैं बी एस सी कोड इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू पी एस सी अंडर स्कोर कोड करंट प्राइस इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू करंट अंडर स्कोर प्राइस डेट स्पेस टू स्पेस इक्विटी वॉज कन्वर्टेड टू डेट अंडर स्कोर टू अंडर स्कोर थ्री इक्विटी एक्सेल डज नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दी स्पेसिस इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली कन्वर्ट ऑल द स्पेसिस टू अंडर स्कोर द सेकेंड रूल इज नो नेम रेफरेंसेज लाइक यू कैनॉट गिव any cell reference as a name to your data like your re defined name cannot be a1 b2 c3 or any other sort of cell location the third rule is first letter of your named range has to be a letter underscore or a back black backslash else you are definitely going to get an error the fourth and the last important rule is name ranges consider the upper and lower case as the same like if you have once given the name as sales underscore name you cannot name another column as sales underscore name for excel both are same the upper case and lower case are the same these are the four basic rules which you need to remember now we'll discuss about the benefits what are the benefits of name range see the most important is like you do not need to remember the data locations like i do not need to remember where was the company names i can simply go here and i can write company name excel has automatically taken me to the column where i had named it as company name so this is the most like easiest way to navigate so i do not need to remember the tab name or data location in the workbook now the second thing is can be used in the formulas anywhere in the workbook anywhere is important like if i need to put a total of any of these columns in this sheet i just simply need to remember the name of the named range like for an example i will just put price underscore price to earning enter let us check now the total of this column is 454 which is correct i do not need to give the cell reference i do not need to put a formula here then navigate to the data column and select this range so this is very easy and very quick you just need to remember the price to earning another way is in case you do not remember the name of your column you just have to put starting word it will give this current price it will give the name of all the ranges you have created which have the word price in it like here we have price to earning current price so you can use this as a reference another simple way of doing is start here and click on use in formula Here you will get the list of all the name range which are active in this workbook. Now here I'll select price to earning and I press enter. This is another way of doing it. Now the third benefit is easy to understand for the user or while revisiting the formula. Now for a layman like most of my audience are the people which are not well educated in Excel. They cannot understand the complex formulas when I am adding multiple. columns and doing multiple calculations in a formula they usually are not able to read it so is equal to sum of this column or simple sum of this so i believe this formula is easy to read is easy to understand for my audience and also while revisiting after a month or two it's very easy for me to revive what i had done the last time so this is quite interesting and quite easy while using this name range especially in the large data set where you have a large number of data and large number of columns now the last thing which we'll discuss is the dynamic name range now here let's say i have put a formula of price to earning and now what if i add two rows here now my this value should automatically be changing but it is not see my total has to be 
517 but it is reflecting 453 since it is not adding up these two values which we added in the end in order to solve this problem we can convert our name range to dynamic name range dynamic as the name suggests it will automatically change and update my formula now to do this you just simply need to remember a formula we will be using index and count a i'm copying this formula here i'll just go to name manager i'll go to price to earning and i'll copy this formula here press ok and close now my this price to earning is now a dynamic range see my total is updated now what if i add another two columns here and copy this pasted here this is again updated if i delete one of my row it is again updated now this is how it works now what count a does count a gives the count of the cells which are non blank in a given column like here when i putting this formula count a in this g column it will revert as 17 now when this second part of the formula this one this will revert as 17 now my complete formula becomes from the range starting from g1 to index g17 so my formula will automatically apply to g1 to g17 range in this column once i add more two columns here now my non blank cells will be 19 then my count a in this range will be 19 and my formula will automatically become from g1 to g19 i hope you like this video thank you for watching